by the time you guys are seeing this, my three kids will have already completed day one of back to school. What is up you guys? My name is Kira if you are new and in today's video I am back to share with you what I bought for my kids clothes wise for back to school. Now in our house the day you guys are seeing this is our official first day back to school. So I have Jacob my 17 year old he just turned 17. He's a senior this year which I can't even believe it like I'm about to have a high school graduate and then Mason he's seven he'll be eight in December he started first grade this year and then Maya just turned five and she started kindergarten this year I'll pop a little picture up right here of them all outside getting ready to go for the first day and all the kids were so excited and I was so excited for them it was just nice and refreshing to see them excited about school again especially since homeschooling was a little rough for us last year and I really wanted to dress them up this year last year knowing that we were homeschooling I kind of downplayed what I bought of course I got them a few new pieces it was back to school but I didn't buy a whole lot just because they were staying home so I really wasn't stressing it but this year I really wanted to get them a bunch of nice things and that's what I have for you guys today I shopped in three different stores I did a order on Academy and then I went to Target and I went to Kohl's so between all three of those places I pretty much got everything the kids will need. There might be something here or there that I'll need to pick up, but otherwise I think I did pretty good. So I have everything laid out on my bed. I'm going to take you down to the bed in my room and I'll share with you what I got for all three of my kids clothes wise for back to school. All right, you guys. So hopefully I can get Oliver not to jump up on the bed. I keep trying to knock him off. But here is a quick little overview of everything that I got for the kids, at least clothes and shoes wise, for back to school. I have all of Maya's stuff over here in this corner. I have Mason's stuff down here in this corner. And then Jacob's stuff over here. And I think I'm just going to walk around and share with you from age order, starting with Maya and then going around. I was going to sit and do this like a sit down video but if I shared with you guys piece by piece instead of doing it like I would a grocery haul I feel like we would just be here forever so I think that this way will work so I did get Maya two packages of underwear I meant to grab her a size six those ones were on clearance from Target I had the six in my hand I don't know how I ended up with an eight maybe I put it down to get a better package and then ended up with the wrong size so I'm just gonna hold on to them there's no reason to return them I'm just gonna hold on to them and then I'll use them when she grows into them because then I found this at Kohl's so this is 15 for the price of 14 but it's a 15 pairs of underwear for such an amazing price Kohl's had amazing deals I did so well at Kohl's a majority of this came from there because they're just their deals were on point so I got her the 15 pack for now and then she can grow into that 10 pack so she'll have more than enough undies and then this was also on sale at Kohl's it's 20 pairs of socks for I want to say ten dollars or something like that so 50 cents a pair I mean that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree and these are really nice quality socks and they have fun ones but then they still have some solid ones so I think that she will have more than enough socks for the year. I always usually replenish for Christmas time. So they should be good. And then I know it's like an array of shoes, right? But girls need more shoes, I feel, than boys. We have to be stylish. We have to match our outfits. But I barely paid for anything that you see here. So this was actually a birthday gift for Maya from my girlfriend Marissa. And I said I would put it away for back to school so it's Jojo Siwa and it's all of the like sequin kind of shoes with of course Jojo is known for the big bows so these are like big bow sneakers but I don't feel like those would go with everything even though they're pink and sparkly and a lot of a lot of Maya's stuff is that 
I just feel like this kind of particular shoe won't go with everything. So I did pick up these pairs of shoes. My girlfriend Marissa, speaking of her, she's been following this Facebook group where they post daily Amazon deals. And it's freaking insane what this girl ends up with because these shoes came to $3.61 each when you use that code you can only use it one time so i did it once and then my mom did it once we ordered this while i was in new york and had it sent here um and how do you beat these shoes for three dollars and 61 cents so they're perfect little slip-on shoes so i got maya the pink and sparkly ones i feel like even though she kind of has pink and sparkly these are a little bit more generic and they're not as dark and flashy so she can get away with those a little bit more often and then i got her the blue and white which i feel you know is kind of perfect for more of the you know blue tone kind of outfits and then when i was in target they had these on sale for i want to say they were on sale for 12 dollars, and then i had my five percent off so i ended up paying like 10 bucks for these cat and jack ones and they're mermaid so they're iridescent but they almost look white or silver so i feel like besides black she pretty much covers all of the you know different tones different color tones so she'll be able to change her shoes and you know match her outfits she does already have a black pair and a white pair so i got her a gray pair and a navy blue pair but these are like bicycle shorts and i want her to wear things like this under like skirts and dresses the skirts that i got her have the inside which is good then she doesn't need to wear this but like her dress obviously doesn't have that so i'll make her wear these navy blue shorts underneath her dress just in case she's out you know playing on the playground and these were super cheap i got these for i want to say two for 15 on kohl's so like i said amazing deals at kohl's and i believe pretty much all of these clothes are from Kohl's. I'm not sure if Maya's going to wear this the first day. I don't think so. I think I'm going to have all of the kids wear pink, but I saw this unicorn dress and I knew she would love it. Maya is completely into dresses and skirts and she actually wore something similar to this on the first day of school last year. I think it was just all white unicorns. It wasn't like the different colors, but it was something very similar that I got from Target. So I knew that she would love this and she already has something like this and then i got her two skirts so i fell in love with this one it has little tiny unicorns on them but from a distance it's kind of hard to see it almost just looks like a floral paisley print and i love this color it's like perfect for fall it's almost plum or burgundy maroon like it's all in those shades and i love that and i think it's going to look great against her tan skin and then i got her this one which is just like a heather gray which a with a bunch of different like colored speckles i felt like something like this was good because it could mix and match with a lot of different colors since there's so many in the little speckles she'll have to do more of a solid with that but i think she'll really like that and then i just grabbed her two more pairs of shorts she does have a fair amount of shorts that she can still wear to school because she got clothes for her birthday which was just at the end of june and it's not like anybody has seen her in those things so anything in good condition she'll still be able to wear but i did get her two more pairs of shorts i tried to find things that were longer a lot of the style right now is the shorts themselves are very short. So the crotch portion, I mean, the material is like this thin between the crotch and the end of the shorts because they're almost scalloped, like they cut in. I didn't feel comfortable sending my daughter in with these shorts that like are so, so short. It's the style, but I just don't feel comfortable with that. So I got ones that are a little bit longer. These are like active wear, almost like the bicycle shorts, but this is not meant to go under something. That's why I got like the fancier print with different colors. It has like the gradient of the greens and purples and still black, white, and gray. So she'll be able to mix match that. And then of course you just need like a solid pair 
of denim shorts. So that is what she got for like shorts wise. Like I said, she still has some more. And then I picked her up a bunch of pants because you know, the schools are air conditioning. The mornings are a little bit cooler now and they'll just continue to start getting cooler as you know, school continues on. And being that there's air conditioning in the school, my kids in, during the day when they are hanging out in the house, they wear pants, sometimes long sleeve shirts because it's cool in my house. So I got a bunch of pants just thinking if it's a cooler day, I think my kids would still be comfortable in this. So these are touch cotton leggings. They're like super, super soft. So I got Maya the tie dye pink and then I got her the black sparkle. I got her a solid heather gray and then I love the different color stripes, the different color dots, just because as long as she has something solid, she really can mix and match. So I got her that. And then look at these stinking jeans, you guys, with the little stinking unicorns on them. She went crazy for these. My daughter is definitely a unicorn lover like her mama. So that's it for the bottoms. And then just a few tops, cause like I said, she still has some, you know, new tops that she just got from her birthday so i got her this oh my gosh this tee is so soft and i love the color and it has the pretty unicorn on it grab that for her and then these are all jumping bean that's like targets not target sorry kohl's like they carry a lot of the jumping bean so i love this it says be kind and again all the different colors i thought this would actually look good with the bicycle shorts with the different colors in it so i grabbed that since Maya is starting dance, I saw this one and I thought this was so perfect. It says dance your heart out and so faint though because it's white on like this lilac lavender color. Again, that like soft tee. I got her this. It's a pretty shell. I'm not sure if tank tops are allowed. I think that they are but I just needed to get her like a solid something that I can mix and match with a couple of those outfits. So I grabbed her this and I love the scallop cut of the and what do they call that like eyelet or something i love like when they have the little holes like that and then i saw this and i fell in love with this so this is just like a blousey kind of shirt navy blue with a whole bunch of flowers in it and like the bell kind of sleeves so that's what i got her a nice start i believe but i mean this is you know a fair amount of stuff and with three kids it was quite overwhelming to get all of these clothes but now we'll go ahead and we'll move on to mason which is down here so these are all of mason's clothes i am gonna pop up a picture that should be right here but i did get him some sandals i'm not super crazy about them as you can see there's almost like these little spike things on the end i'm not sure if they stick out beyond the shoe it's kind of hard to tell from a picture if i do feel like they're dangerous i'm either going to return them or try and cut those little points off but this is another one of those amazing sales and I, these were six dollars so for six bucks i thought it would be worth it just to grab them i kind of like them a little bit better in black but i just got him black sneakers so we stuck with the blue i like that it's a closed toe sandal and it still gives him an option to wear a sandal something cooler than a sneaker that he doesn't have to wear socks with but something that still has stability for him running around on the playground so i grabbed him that and then the other pair of sneakers i got him were these sketchers from academy they were the only sketchers that were clearance down to 15 bucks that's insane that's a great deal for for Skechers. So I grabbed that for Mace. So he has those two pairs of shoes, even though the other kids got more shoes. Mason has a ton that were passed down to us from a family member. So he has more shoes than anybody else. So he just got the sandals and the one pair of sneakers and that will be fine. I did get him a 10 pack then plus two extra pairs so it ended up being a 12 pack of the tech gear this is again a Kohl's brand and both Jacob and Daryl wear a ton of tech gear clothes and they love them so I figured that Mason would like the socks and they're super super soft so he'll have more than enough of those and then next time I go to Walmart I'm gonna grab Mason just like a generic pair 
of underwear, like a Fruit of the Loom or a Hanes or something, because when you get these kinds from like Kohl's or something, the underwear is not always the greatest price unless there's a sale. Like there was a sale on these socks and the ones that I got, there was a sale on Maya's underwear, there was a sale on these, but if there's not a sale, you're better off getting it from like Walmart or Target. But he likes the specialty kind. So these are Minecraft, like they have the green creeper and then the black with the creeper on it. Those have little creepers. This is like this the creeper pattern so he was excited to see these he likes the silky boxer kind and he has some that are Fortnite that he got for Christmas that are still in you know amazing condition and they still fit him so if I just get him one more pack the next time I go to Walmart I think he'll have more than enough undies and again I replenish during the Christmas time and then here is the shorts that I got him these shorts were from Kohl's, and I think he's going to wear these tan shorts the first day. I thought that was a nice, like, first day outfit, but they're easy on and off. Like, no buttons, because they're just pull-up, but they still look nice. So, oh no, these are not Kohl's, they're Cat and Jack. So these were Target, but they're also stretchy. So I think Mason's going to like those shorts. And then I did pick him up again, two pairs of sweatpants. I got him like the silky blue ones to bring to the lake because I wanted him to have some pants. But then I found these. These have the reinforced knee, which I like that because my kid busts through all of his clothes. And these are like the joggers. So they have the you know, cuff at the bottom, which I thought is good because it's an 810 and that's the size that he's like in between. So I figured the cuff at the bottom would help. And then I found the exact same ones with the reinforced knee and the waistband at the bottom. So I just got him those in gray. So he has all the pants that he needs. And then these shorts I got from Academy when I got his sneakers and I couldn't believe the deal. These mesh shorts were five for 20. So I picked him up so many different ones. I got him this royal blue. Then I got him the charcoal gray. Then I got him black. Then I got him red, and then I also got him navy. So he ended up with six pairs of shorts, two pairs of pants, plus the pants I just bought him. So he ended up with nine bottoms, and he still does have some shorts that I picked him up like for the school for the summer that still fit him. So I think he'll be good on his bottoms. And then here's where I got him tops wise. So I picked him up this pink shirt at Target. It's Cat and Jack, and it has like the little alligators on it, which is almost like that, what's that croc or something? That's one of those famous like guy polo shirts. But I love the pink, and I feel like the pink goes so good with this tan. And I got one for Jacob, and then of course I have tons of pink for Maya. So I feel like the kids could be like a pink club on the first day of school because pink is definitely not just for girls. So when I show this to Mason, at first he was like, mom, that's pink. And I said, well, boys can wear pink, don't you think? Like, if you like it, you should be able to wear it. And he said, you know, mom, I think that's a good point because I like to watch Vampirina with Maya, but I'm still a boy. Hey, why are you always on my clothes, down, cat? So I was really proud of him for being able to like put that correlation together and say, hey, I like things that girls like too. So yeah, why couldn't I wear pink? And I love that. And Jake said the exact same thing. He was like, I don't care. I'll, I'll wear it. I love the color. So I was happy that they both liked that. So I got that one for Mason. And then I also, obviously he loves Minecraft. So I got him this and I love the tie dye because then we can, you know, use it for a couple of different colors. He loves Bendy. That was his birthday party last year. This was at Kohl's and he loves all the silky stuff. I said the same thing about his underwear. Like if it's silky, that's his favorite kind of material. So I grabbed him that. This was from Academy. I think all the rest were. This says Jawsome Dude and it has a dinosaur on it. And Mason loves his dinosaurs. Plus his favorite color is green. So that works out perfect. And then here's just one of those silky material shirts, but it's plain. I wanted him to have like a solid. And then we're a big football family. Like if you guys don't know that, we're huge. And this says feared on the field with the little like helmet imprint. 
and it's the nice navy blue with the red and white. Actually, Paul saw this, and he was like, oh, it's Giants colors. I said, get out of here. Don't say that to my husband. He'll kill you, because we're, well, he is a Cowboys fan, my husband, so, and that's not even this blue. That's more like this blue and the silver, but no red, so let's just keep the word Giants out of our mouths while wearing that shirt. And then this one was like a little pricey. All the rest were only $5. I think I spent so little at Academy and got so much clothes. But this is Under Armour. So it was a little expensive, but it said game mode. And I love the texture of it. And you need one good white shirt for school. So I got that one for Mace as well. But that is it. And like I said, he still has some clothes that are good for him. And then last but not least, we have Jacob, who I cannot believe when I redid his room how much clothes Jacob actually had. So we're really going to need to revamp today when we put all the stuff away and see what he's going to keep and what he's not going to keep. But those same mesh deal was for the guys as well except they were eight bucks so I got Jake a couple of pairs of those ones from Academy so I got him a pair of black and then I got him a pair of charcoal gray so he has quite a few pairs of shorts that I bought him prior to the school year so he should have enough like he got some for his birthday as well and then I got him two pairs of these kinds just because I want him to have his senior year where he's not always in like the comfy kind of clothes. Yes, I want him to be comfortable, but I also want him to represent his senior year like like collegically. Is that even a word? Like I want him to feel like he's taking the year on by storm. I don't know. I asked him how he felt about it and he said he tried them on and he said they were super comfortable and they're just as comfortable as those so he doesn't mind looking a little bit more put together. So I loved that about him. And this is the Apartment 9 brand, which Coles rocks their Apartment 9 brand. So this one is like a heather gray. And then this one is like a khaki color. So I loved those for him. And then I also got him two pairs of jeans. The kid owns no jeans. It's like sweatpants or these kinds of shorts. So I did get him, both of these are the Sonoma, which is also a Kohl's brand, but it's flex wear. They're super stretchy. I think Jake's going to love that. So I got him like the stone wash, the little lighter blue. And when you open it up, you can see that it kind of has that, you know, weathered look to it. So I think he's going to like that. You can even see the flexi waistband and then I got the same thing in a darker blue so I think he's going to like his pants and then here is the shirts that I got him so here's that pink one and this is the all in motion brand also um oh no all in motion is target and this is like ridiculously soft so I think Jake is going to like that maybe with the khaki pants he'll be a perfect match to his brother and then I saw a couple of like funny tees at Kohl's and I thought Jake would love it he loves Toy Story and this is Rex so it says I'm a nervous Rex and Jake is such a nervous Nelly that I think he would love that shirt so I grabbed him that I got him just a plain black tee. Everybody needs just a plain, you know, solid colored shirts to mix and match with his clothes. And then this one says danger and no filter. And when I showed him this one, he was like, well, mom, I got that from you. So clearly my kid knows me quite well, but he definitely is a kid with no filter. So I think that one is perfect for him. I think once they meet him and then they read his shirt, they're going to know that that fits amazing. And then here's another Apartment 9. Again, a lot of Apartment 9 clothes. This is like a collared shirt, like the three buttons, but without the collar. And Jake really loves this teal kind of greenish blue color and it looks so good with his eyes so I think that'll be a nice addition to his closet and then last but not least same with the apartment nine but this is like uh it says it's moisture wicking and cool which is good for here in Texas but it has the collar and the three buttons and again something a little bit more put together 
Now, since my girlfriend Marissa got Maya the JoJo sneakers for her birthday, she got Jacob these for his birthday. So this is the Under Armour sneakers. She got an insane deal on them, I believe at Kohl's, and I think they're gonna look so good with a lot of these colors, like it's very complimentary. And then I got him these. These are black FUBU sneakers. I just thought he needed something solid and black, and I picked these up for him quickly because I didn't want him to take these to New York, being that I didn't want him to get those dirty. He never even ended up wearing these. You can tell that the ties are still stuck together. He never wore them, but I wanted him to have sneaker options in case he went to the gym or he did something where he needed you know, more than just sandals. So we got him those, and then I got him these, but he's already worn them. I just took them out of the wash though because, and everything that came from the airport or that touched anybody humanly possible went right into the wash as soon as we got home. But this is the Goodfellow brand. You can find this at Target. These were 20 bucks and Jake loves them. He says they're so, so comfortable. And I wanted him to have a different option other than sandals. He has like his plain blue closed toe sandals that are very similar to what Mason has. And then he also has a new pair that he got for his birthday last year that he never even took out of the box because he didn't go to school, we didn't go anywhere, we didn't do anything. So he just took those out of the box to use for school also, and they're tan. So he has a tan shoe, a blue shoe, he has these black ones, he has these gray ones, but none of them were slip-ons, it's either sandals or sneakers. So I got him these slip-on shoes because I thought that would be good for him, you know, during still the summer months. But all right, you guys, that was it for this year's back to school haul, at least clothes, shoes, and undergarment wise. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. I did notice once I was putting everything away that maybe someone could use an extra pair of shorts or an extra shirt. I really think I should have gotten Maya just a few more pairs of shorts. She did get some for her birthday, but like I said, I kind of just wanted to really give them a nice refresh to their wardrobe. So I'll be on the lookout while I'm in any of the stores for things that maybe will be on clearance just to kind of fill in here or there. But otherwise, I think the kids are really happy with everything that I was able to come up with especially since I didn't take them with me that was just kind of all of mom off the cuff so again I hope that you guys enjoyed make sure to hop over to Academy or to Kohl's or to Target if you saw anything that you liked to see if it's still available because I did shop actually it's been probably about a month already now since I shopped so you might not be able to find the same sales but I will tell you that all three of those stores had really good deals when I was shopping and for some it's still back to school not everybody is back to school just just yet so you still might be able to capitalize so check those places out. Otherwise, comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing school shopping wise. I love you guys all so, so much. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.